my lovely friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Patty. I go by Patty Mac Makes everywhere online. For today's video, you might notice that little kind of obnoxious paid promotion thing or whatever it says up in the corner. What that means is somebody sent me something really cool and asked me to share it with you. I don't do a lot of those. I get approached by a lot of people about doing them. I don't do very many. This one I couldn't turn down. This is from Missouri Star Quilt Company. I love Missouri Star. I mean, really. My dream is to have my very own Airstream trailer that I get to take on quilt tours, like, I don't know, maybe three months out of the year. That's my pie in the sky dream. And of course, I would have to get a Hamilton and see the girls at Missouri Star. They contacted me by email and asked if I would be interested in being part of their team of influencers to share different products and to make some of their projects with you here on my channel. And I said I would be absolutely thrilled. So I got to go to the website and they let me pick out whatever I wanted to pick out. And I got kind of a little cross section of things and I wanted to share them with you today. I wound up picking fabrics from one collection because I just thought, well, if I make like a bag or placemats or something like that, it's going to be easier if I have everything from one collection because then it's all going to you know, work together. So I wound up getting a fat quarter bundle. I got a jelly roll uh, package of jelly roll strips and I got a one yard cut of the yardage that coordinates with the pre-cuts. I also uh, asked if I could have an Ulfa rotary cutter because I've never used the Ulfa and I've been wanting to try them. They're supposed to be really good and you know all of the people on the, the, the big quilt channels use these so I said I would like to have one. So we'll compare this to my usual Fiskars and I got it in the 45 millimeter size because that's my favorite size. So I got that for a tool, I got these for fabrics, and then I got this as kind of a large tool. And I was really excited to uh, get this and try it out because it's, she calls it a doohickey, it's doohickey designs, and it's called a ruler roundup. And so I have a place where I keep all of my rulers when I'm not working. So they're all organized, I'm looking at them now. I keep them on my uh, Skatis pegboard so they're nice and neat and I always know where everything is but when I'm in a project I'm using several different rulers typically and you know they can get to be kind of a mess and then uh, you know they can get a little bit scattered about so with this I can take all of the rulers that I'm going to use in a project and get them all out at once and then they'll all be organized for me with this uh, doohickey. <laughs> this ruler roundup. Uh, I work in a kind of a small space and I don't have you know a ton of storage and things sitting around to help me organize so it can really be challenging for me to keep everything straight and I thought this would help. So uh, what I'm going to do is change the camera and I'm going to bring it in closer and we'll go ahead and take the uh, plastic off of the fabrics and take a look at them a little bit more closely. I have been looking at this for a while and I'm really excited about it. It's from Riley Blake and it's called Hibiscus and it's so pretty and I was kind of excited because uh, when I got it I was going back through uh, some of the videos. I have to be honest my favorite maker on Missouri Star is Misty. I love Misty's projects. And it was kind of exciting when I ordered this and I went back and was looking through some of the videos. Uh, she has a quilt where she used this fabric and it's so pretty. And I thought, oh, isn't that interesting? I picked Misty's fabric. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let us uh, let me change the camera and we'll move in closer and I'll show you exactly what I have. So here's a closer look at the uh, pieces that I was able to pick out. Uh, from Missouri Star and the Olfa it, it's a nice heavyweight looking uh, rotary cutter and we'll do like a little test and we'll check this against the Fisker which is what I'm used to using 
And uh, I will tell you one thing I like already is that this is made in Japan. So that is nice. And you can use this cutter for cotton wool, paper, vinyl, and leather. And I guess anything really. And it's supposed to be quick changing with the blades and all kinds of stuff. So uh, as we get into it, we'll, we'll see how that is. But I'm kind of excited about it. I watched a video from uh, Karen on Just Get It Done Quilts. And she interviewed somebody who works with Alpha, and they talked quite a bit about the, the rotary cutters, and that's what really got me interested in trying them. So I thought when Missouri Star gave me a budget and told me I could pick whatever I wanted, I was like, well, I'm going to get a couple of tools and some different cuts of fabric to try out. So anyway, that's how I got the Alpha. I wanted the turquoise because, you know, everybody uses that turquoise with the bright yellow, but they were out of stock, so I went with the navy still a nice choice. Okay, we'll put that to the side. Uh, what do we want to look at first? I guess we could look at the jelly roll. And I'm going to go ahead and open it. You know, usually I don't like to get into fabrics and take off the uh, plastic until I'm really ready to get in, but this is kind of special. So let's just go ahead and take a look. These are so, so cute. I just love the colors. I'm so into this chartreuse, um, sort of a green yellow. I've always loved that color. It's very specific and not for everybody, but I like it. And it's a lot of mix of um, pinks and greens. It's just so cute. And then I got the yardage. Let's look at the yardage. I will say that it looked a little more mustardy on <clears throat> the website. It's hard to pick fabric from a website. Let's just be real about that. But anyway, this is so pretty. Did I get one yard? Yeah, one yard. It feels like it feels like more. This is so cute. So when I went to pick, I knew I wanted uh, the yardage to go with the rest of the, the the fabric. I just, I could not resist the uh, the llama. It's so cute. And they have the llama. I believe the llama comes also in a um, the peachy pink. But it's just, you know, when you buy from a collection, uh, everything goes together. So you might have a hard time if you just went to the fabric store and you were working with this peachy pink, you might have a hard time mixing and matching something to go with it. But this chartreuse green is the same color as this flower. And so it's going to work. No matter what, it's going to work. And that's why I like when I'm doing a quilt project or something that's going to use more than a couple of colors, I just find it's easier if you pick a collection you like and work within that collection, which is why the fat quarters are so nice. When you buy a fat quarter collection, what you're getting <clears throat> is a one cut of each print in that collection. And so like some of the collections are really, really big because they have a lot of uh, designs within that collection. And some of them are smaller because they have fewer designs. So that's how that works. When you get a jelly roll, uh, a jelly roll is always going to be 42 strips. So what'll happen is you'll get more or less of each print, depending on how many prints are in the collection. So if you have a collection with 10 prints, you would wind up getting uh, four strips of each print, basically. That's how they do that. That's always going to be 42, but your fat quarter um, package is going to be different depending on how, much is, how many prints are in the collection. So you can see this is a, a good sized collection. to save the little ribbony things because you know you can always use those later. I'll just take a look at these fabrics. 
Let me change the camera a little bit so you can see okay, that better. I changed my exposure and I changed the white balance and I think that's a better representation of the color in the fabrics. So we'll just kind of roll through them and see what we've got. I'm not going to open them up, but we'll just go through and see what's in here. And it's called hibiscus. And I just love the florals and the colors are so pretty. Oh, look at that one. Oh, it's got little cactuses. Succulents, I guess you would call them. Oh, see, I was right. So I told you I thought that alpaca, it was in that uh, chartreuse green. It's also in that peachy pink. Isn't that sweet? And then they have a stripe. I love this color. And then here's your more of your uh, neutrals, your low volumes, I should call them. This is so cute. You know, these would make, like, oh, look at that one. These are like really good baby prints, to be completely honest. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? See, this is why the Fat Quarter Package is so good. Because you really get a sense of everything in a collection. So if you're like, well, I think I might want to do my quilt out of this fabric. When you review the Fat Quarter Bundle, you can really see what's in there. Like, I didn't really notice this at all when I was browsing the yardage, or even that one. That is so cute. But there it is. And then we're into the greens. Oh, look at this. That little alpaca comes in a green also. That's so cute. And then a really pretty stripe. Oh, this is so pretty. I like anything with, with a floral. And there's the cactus again. Oh, I like them so much. Oh, and here's like that confetti, but in a green. Oh, look at that. And then the flowers. They're almost like a little fan with the green. Oh, and then a chartreuse. Super pretty. And then here's the chartreuse alpaca. And then the, the stripe. So we'll just lay them out. This is really nice fabric. You know, as much as I like my bargain stuff, there's nothing like a really good um, quilt shop quality fabric. It really is. It really does make a difference. Oh, so they didn't do in the chartreuse. The uh, they didn't do these two prints in the chartreuse. Isn't that interesting? Or this one. Hmm. So when you start pulling the things out, it's interesting what you find. <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna try to like lay them all out so we can see them. Up here. That's interesting. So they don't have the, um, hmm. Oh, wait. There we go. So the minty green, that's like this, uh, you only have a couple in the minty green. Which I really like the minty green. Let's see. Very interesting. So this is. These are almost like um, sheets. Like that would make this would be perfect for pillowcases. To be honest, that that's like perfect sheet material. Both of these. I guess anything in this white would make really pretty pillowcases. So that's what you've got. That's a nice collection. Let's see everything. Pull everything in. So there it is. There's the hibiscus. 
gosh, I don't know what my favorite is. It's super nice fabric though. I mean, really, really nice heavy weight. You know, I do a lot of my stuff at Joanne, and I have to tell you, this is this is a lot nicer. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to run to the store and grab what you what you want in the moment. And I also like to see what I'm getting in person, but I have to say the qu the quality of this is much much nicer. Really pretty. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm not sure. I was thinking about taking the um, the jelly roll strips and remaking my um, my quilted bag that I carry. I I have uh, I think I put a picture of myself with it up, uh, but I've never shown you how I made it. So I'm thinking about making remaking that and using this fabric. And then I thought, oh, well, this would be really fun for the, uh, the lining. So that was my thought process on that. So we'll see. You know, I always, I come up with these ideas. I think I know what I'm going to do. And then I change my mind. But anyway, we'll see. I know that I will make something sooner than later because these are beautiful. So hibiscus. And I'll tell you what I'll do. Uh, I will go back and look for the video uh, that Misty did with her project so that you can see that in a, a finished quilt. Um, let's get this out of the box. Let's get into this box. Uh, what I want to say, first of all, what really strikes me is that uh, this product is made in the USA. <laughs> so I really like that. So do Hickey Designs, I'll have to look into them more. They apparently have patterns, rulers, and cutting mats. So we'll have to investigate them more closely because if you don't know, I'm like really uh, big on anything made, well not anything, but on uh, having or first selecting my products as made in the USA. That means a lot to me. So it's in a very nice box. And it looks like this. It's well packaged. I have to tell you, so I saw this thing on the website and I was like, oh yeah, I like that. And I was really surprised at how big and heavy it was. This is a nice piece. Oh, you know what? It's wood. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, this is really nice. Okay, whoa, oh, oh, so, okay. Oh, all right, sorry. <laughs> Just figuring this out on live on television here. Okay, so uh, what you do is your rulers just fit right in there. And this is so nice because I can take all of my rulers that I would use for a project and they all just go right in. Isn't that nice? And then you can put large ones up here and they'll all just slip right in. Oh, that is so nice. Oh my goodness. So I just picked a selection of stuff. I don't, you know, just it, no order, but oh my goodness, this is so nice. And so when I'm working, you know, I do everything on this tabletop, which is a, a kitchen island. That's my cutting space, my, my workspace. So I do everything here. So now instead of having my rulers strewn all over the room, which is normally what happens, they're all corralled in this one piece. This is nice. I was expecting like a plastic piece. That's what I thought it was gonna be. No, this is wood. I'll bet you they have 
cut and made each one of these. Well, of course they have. So they have cut and made each one of these individually by hand. This is super nice. Oh my goodness. You know, and you could actually put a little hanger on the back if you wanted to, you know, and then put it on the wall, which might work for me because I'm in such a small space. But it fits beautifully on my workstation. And I went with that turquoise blue color because I love the turquoise blue. It's so retro to me. So anyway, that's what I went with. I love it. The Ruler Roundup. So if you are like me and have difficulty <laughs> keeping your stuff straight, you might really enjoy this. So that's what I got. I've got, got the Ruler Roundup. The rulers are all mine. I had already purchased those. Some of these were a gift. My um, viewer friend in California, Luann, sent me a whole collection of these Creative Grids square rulers. And I love these things. And Luann, I think of you every time I use them, and I'm so appreciative. Thank you. So let's look at everything that came in. This is a really nice uh, selection of things. All right, I took a couple of minutes and I went ahead and wrapped the uh, alpaca print on the uh, comic book board and made it like just into a mini bolt. So if you're uh, interested in seeing how I did that, I will link over to that video for you. But uh, yeah, that is my that is my haul from Missouri Star Quilt Company. And I just want to say thank you so, so much for thinking of me and for uh, extending uh, an invitation to uh, join in. I'm just so flattered and so excited to be involved with Missouri Star in this way. And uh, yeah, I am really looking forward to jumping into some kind of a fun project that utilizes uh, all of this. And you will be seeing it soon. Okay, for today, that's what I have for you. Thank you as always for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed seeing this beautiful fabric. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, happy quilting.